Yo, welcome to another episode of the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. I'm your host and the man behind the mic, K-Sap. And today, man, we got a real, real interesting show lined up for you guys today. Um, when you come across the video, uh, make sure you share it out. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, make sure you turn your post notifications on, man, so you'll know when Simply Ball Dropping drops another hot banger um, where we cover sports. Hot Topics, Roundtable Talks, and a Marriage Chronicles. Also, I see everybody in the comments section, man. Hashtag salute. Um, like I said, what my mantra is, tell a friend to tell a friend. It might not be for you, but it might be for them. I appreciate all the support. Uh, make sure you're watching the video all the way through. Uh, make sure you um watching the ads. It only helps the channel grow. But today's show is very interesting. But before we get the show started, today's show is sponsored by... This episode is sponsored by True Choice Insurance. Here at True Choice, we take a different philosophy when it comes to providing you with your insurance options. We emphasize the value of the products we offer instead of playing on the fear of you not being protected in your time of need. True Choice is affiliated with more than 60 insurance companies. This makes us one of the most independent agencies in the state of Texas. Please visit truechoiceinsurance.com for all your insurance needs. Once again, shout out to my man, Brian Kelly, and his wife over there at True Choice Insurance. You guys go visit their website at www.truechoiceinsurance.com for all your insurance needs. Tell them KSAP man behind the mic of the Simply All Dropping Podcast sent you their way. Well, today's show, like I said, is very interesting. Everybody knows the news, the media, and certain people that have been trying to condemn Deion Sanders. Um, recently, Charleston White, you know, went on social media and said that he had a $20,000 bounty on Shador Sanders. Well, they got wind of that on YouTube and they, you know, banned his channel from YouTube. So he was taken off the YouTube airways by the YouTube community. Um, you know, everything's being looked at. Um, there's been comments and slander from, you know, y'all's guy, Jason Whitlock, has been slandering Deion Sanders' name. And everything that Jason Whitlock is saying, he's basically contradicting himself because he calls himself a Christian and Dion is a Christian too, but he's questioning Dion's Christian beliefs because of his arrogance. But Jason Whitlock had his own, you know, troubles back in the days. And he said it on his own platform that he was addicted to women, sex and all kinds of things. That's why I've shown you guys on recent podcasts, you know, the pictures of Jason Whitlock that are floating around him being in bars with, you know, topless women sitting on his lap him posing with them and just having a good old time. But then he comes out to want to question somebody else's Christian beliefs, which I think is a punk move. You know what I'm saying? Because you had your your hiccups in life. There's nobody perfect. Only person that's perfect is the man upstairs. So for Jason Whitlock to say the things that he has said is very egregious. But there's one particular individual has came to Deion Sanders' defense. We all know Kwame Brown. Kwame Brown was back in the news recently and months back because, you know, he was the number one pick in the, the NBA and everybody said he was a bust. And Stephen A. Smith brought his name back up and certain people started jumping on that. Matt Barnes, Up and Smoke podcast all the smoke and people started clowning Kwame Brown, but Kwame Brown is an intelligent brother that makes sense when he speaks. And you wouldn't realize that until you heard Kwame Brown speak. And he started going on tirades against everybody that was name dropping his name and he was coming for him. And the thing about it is his, his mantra was get some of that mama's cooking. And he was lighting people up and he stood his ground and a lot of people you know, took wind of that and everybody was following Kwame Brown's bus life on YouTube and it's been successful. So Kwame Brown 
has came to the defense of Deion Sanders. He said some things about Charleston White, and also he ripped Jason Whitlock a new a-hole. I mean, he dug off in Jason Whitlock. Um, he said some things that really made sense. Um, I'm going to play a clip and let y'all listen to it in, it, you know, in its entirety. Um, if you want to hear the full episode of when Kwame Brown ripped off in Jason Whitlock, Go to his channel at Kwame Bus Life on YouTube and you can see exactly and hear exactly what he had to say. But I'm going to play you guys a clip and y'all listen to it. And when we done listen to it, we'll get back and we'll continue the show. Take a listen to what Kwame Brown said about Charleston White and Jason Whitlock. Gangster. If Charleston White was a gangster like he said he was, an activist like he said he was, first of all, he wouldn't be carrying himself like he can. Second of all, it would be no women and no children. That's some coward shit. That every time you get into it with somebody, you bring up their kids, you bring up their their mama. That ain't gonna build nothing. That ain't gonna help nothing. All what's gonna happen is time is gonna be ticking, and when you're not is in the limelight as you are, then somebody might take a look at you. So it don't make sense to live like that. That's stupid to me. But if that's the way he choose to live his life, fuck him, fuck it, you know, but I just think that was stupid, you know, and to me, um, it's good to see some type of recourse happen when you're speaking on a black man like the way he did, and his son, because normally nothing ever happens, he would never talk about a Jewish kid like that, um, and he's pushed the limits on a lot of other situations that he, he's gotten away with, so I guess he thought he was going to get away with that, clickbait, and doing stupid plays and doing things like that and calling yourself an activist. Activists don't look for attention. They don't seek attention like that. No real man or woman seeks attention like he does. So he got what he got. Um, but Jason Whitlock's situation don't make any sense to me because he's calling Dion out for not being a devout Christian. And Jason, Jason Whitlock had his own situation in Hollywood or wherever else. He said it on his own platform where he was addicted to sex and addicted to things of that nature. So why would you come down on Dion when you've had your own situation? That don't make no sense to me. Um, as a Christian brother, you call your Christian brother to the side if you feel like he's doing something wrong. Yeah, you, you call him to the side. You don't... And I might have to slide off camera while I'm talking. You call your Christian brother to the side and say, hey man, I don't agree with X, Y, and Z and... Uh, as your Christian brother, maybe you should do bop, bop, bop. But you definitely don't get up on these airwaves and challenge a man and say, and your only excuse is that he's too flamboyant. That's his personality. <laughs> so he's not going to get into heaven because he's too flamboyant. He's not going to get on into heaven because he brings celebrities on the sideline, which many coaches bring celebrities on the sideline. When I played for the, the Lakers, it was nothing but celebrities in the locker room and everything else. When I played for the Wizards, everybody came and saw MJ. We had people at practice that come see MJ come back. Celebrities are all on the sideline. Denzel Washington was at the game. He was one of the biggest celebrities. LL Cool J. Or how Biden would say it, LLJ Cool J, 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 or whatever the hell he said. So I don't understand Whitlock's judgment of Dion in that way. How come he didn't say nothing about, and shout out to Travis Hunter. Travis Hunter said, I have to play next week. This man took a nasty, vicious hit. And the reporter who came out, the white, the white reporter, the white brother who came out and said that everybody's got a bounty on Dion and, and his players. I'm starting to believe it because that cheap shot wasn't even necessary. Wow. That was explosive. You heard exactly what Kwame Brown said. <laughs> Kwame Brown said a lot. Um, one point that really stood out, he said, so Dion is not going to get into heaven because he brings celebrities on the sideline. And Jason Whitlock want to question his Christian beliefs. And Jason Whitlock had his own problems. Like, like Kwame said, he said that is on, on his own platform. Then also he said, 
the stuff that Charleston White did. You want to be an activist, but activists don't seek attention. And you want to, you know, talk about somebody's kids. But you got reprimanded for that. And, you know, that was good that they, you know, pay close attention to that. And then he was talking about the bounty on, you know, talking about the, you know, the hits and stuff like that, the targets, which Kwame Brown is starting to believe. Also, he made a reference to Travis Hunter. But if you go listen to the whole clip in its entirety on Kwame's bus life, he also said when Travis Hunter, you know, sent Dion that text and said, I need to be playing next week. Dion responded by saying, no, you're not playing. This is bigger than football. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to put you on the field because you want to play. I'm protecting you. And, you know, Dion is for the, for the kids. So it's bigger than that. And like Kwame said, Dion has always been flamboyant. He's not going to get into heaven because he's flamboyant and arrogant. You know, he's really, you know, challenging Jason Whitlock's, you know, conversation when it comes to Deion Sanders. And he made some key points. And I, I advise you guys to go listen to Kwame Bus Life and get the whole entirety of that, um, the segment when he was talking about it. Because Kwame makes sense. But you guys let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Um, that's going to wrap up another episode of the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, tell a friend to tell a friend. It might not be for you, but it might be for them. I see everybody in the comments. Hashtag salute. And we're going to catch you on the next one. Deuces. Thanks for listening to the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share on all major Another platforms. One.